It's Mr. E here, and our aim for this video is how do we find the length of an arc? Okay, so what is an arc? I got this definition from regentsprep.org. I really like it, so I'm going to use it. It says that an arc of a circle is a portion of the circumference of the circle. So if you recall from your previous math courses, circumference is the outer boundary of the circle. Or uh, you could say that it's the perimeter of the circle. And an arc is just a portion of that. It's just a, it's just a piece of that. So let me sketch an arc over here on this circle. Let me call this point A and point B. So here is a portion of the circumference. There is an arc. That is arc AB. And this is one way to denote it. So that's an arc. It's just a portion of the circumference of the circle. Today I want to show you how, you how you use a formula to find the arc of the circle. The formula is theta equals s over r. So let's just go over the different parts of the formula. Let's begin with theta. So theta is the angle that subtends the arc. So this is theta here. It's the angle that subtends the arc, meaning it's the angle that's opposite from the arc. And very important for you to note this. Theta is the measurement of the central angle in radians. In radians. Okay, next. S is the length of the arc. So this is S. It's the length of the arc. And R is the radius of the circle. Okay, let us continue with an example. In a circle, a central angle of one-third radians subtends an arc of three centimeters. Find the length in centimeters of the radius of the circle. All right, so in this problem, we are given the central angle, theta. So that's one-third. And we are given an arc. So it says it says that the central angle subtends an arc of three centimeters. An arc of three centimeters. So that's S. So S is equal to three centimeters. Then it says find the length in centimeters of the radius of the circle. So we're looking for R. We can just plug this into the formula. And let me just, before I plug it into a formula, let me actually uh, sketch this scenario out for those of you that are visual. So we have a circle. And we have a central angle of one-third radians. This is obviously uh, not going to be drawn to scale. And it says that the central angle, so the central angle here is one third. Okay, that, that, that one third represents this angle here. And it says that the arc that it subtends is three centimeters, so that's three centimeters. And we are looking for R. So that's what the scenario looks like. All right, so let's substitute into the formula. So theta is one third, so I'm going to write one third equals s over r. So that's going to be three over r. Cross multiply to solve for r. Three times three is nine. So nine equals r. So the radius is 
Example two, find in centimeters the length of an arc intercepted by a central angle of four radians in a circle with a radius of 3.5 centimeters. Okay, so they want us to find the length of an arc intercepted by central angle four. So we have theta. So theta is four radians. And it says that the radius of the circle is 3.5 centimeters. And we are looking for the arc. Okay, so let's substitute into the formula. So we're going to have 4 equals S over 3.5. Okay, let's put this over 1, cross multiply, S times 1 is S, and then we got 4 times 3.5, that's 14, so the length of the arc is 14 centimeters. Okay, now you try an example. Write your answer in the comment section. I hope this video helps. Take care.